Hello there, I am Giant Grodel and welcome to my new walkthrough guide. It is a redo of Pokemon Ruby. Oh man, Pokemon Ruby was my first ever project on this channel and now I'm doing a re redo of it basically. And that's not basically, it is what I'm doing. So let's see if we get Brandon and May. We get Brandon, cool. Okay, so I'm gonna watch this cutscene, this opening cutscene I guess. Um, yeah. Ooh, look at the little audio. Nice. Yeah, I can't believe I'm doing this game again on my channel. I'm really excited for this. I've been wanting to do this for quite a while, actually. In the past, like, year or two, I've been wanting to redo this game. Uh, have I uh, do a redo of this game. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, uh, this cutscene's pretty awesome. I kind of prefer the one from Emerald, though. Ruby and Sapphire's opening cutscene or opening, opening, game opening, whatever. Uh, yeah, it wasn't... As good, honestly, in my opinion. This is Giant Grotto's Pokemon Ruby Walkthrough. I just thought I'd uh, say that again because that's what I said. So yeah, this game came out in 2003. Let's press start and get started. The eternal battery has run dry. Yes, I... Okay, fine. Yeah, fine. The game can be played. However, clock-based events will no longer occur. Okay, fine. Whatever. Let's go to some options. Fast for text speed. On battle scene on. Battle style shift. St sound stereo. I guess. And then uh, button mode L equals A. Uh, frame two, three. Four. I th I know I know what frame I'm I know what frame I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick this one right here. This one, yeah. Nice. And you say the same thing. Okay, cool. Let's go to the new game. I remember when I did this the original walkthrough guide of this game that I did back in 2010. Yeah, it was, I didn't know how to focus the camera. So, yeah, there's that. And my sound quality and my voice was totally different. It was just like, ah! Okay. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Birch. But everyone calls me the Pokemon Professor. You know, his name is Birch. It's really close to a curse word. Or a bad word, I should say. You know, if you place R with a T, I, I don't know, just, I don't know. They're all, they're all named after like trees, like Professor Oak, Professor Elm, Professor Birch, Professor Rowan, stuff like that, yeah. This is what they call Pokemon, yeah. This world is widely inhabited, inhabited by po creatures known as Pokemon, cool. We live, we humans live alongside Pokemon as time, at times as friendly playmates and cooperative, and at times as cooperative workmates. And sometimes we band together and battle others like us. But despite our closeness, we don't know everything about Pokemon. In fact, there are many, many secrets surrounding Pokemon. To unravel Pokemon mysteries, I've been undertaking research. That's what I, that's what I do. And you are? Are you a boy? I'm, I'm a boy or a girl. I'm gonna choose the boy character like always. Um, let's, uh, Let's name myself Steven, I guess. I guess we can put it in all caps. Why not? Why not? Why not? Oh, there we go, nice. That's Steven, cool, yeah. Ah, okay. You're Steven, you're moving to my hometown of Waterloo. I get it now. Alright, are you ready? Your own adventure is about to unfold. Take courage and leap into the world of Pokemon where dreams, adventures, where dreams, adventure, and friendships await. We'll be expecting you later. Uh, well, I'll be expecting you. I'll be expecting you later. Come see me in my Pokemon lab. Shrink down to that awesome classic size. Nice. Oh man, are we in the back of a moving truck? <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, that opens up cool. The box is printed with a Pokemon logo. It's a Pokemon brand moving and delivery service. Nice. So, here's a trainer card. We don't have much really. We have 3,000, we have 3,000 Poké Dollars. Our play time is not even in one minute yet. We don't have any badges. Our ID number is 123-120-1253. My name is Steven Kors. Yeah, okay, cool. Options where it went through save. Um, you can just save the game easily. Uh, it'll show you like your badges so when you save in that in that window on the top left corner of your screen. As you see right there with the inside of we're inside of truck inside of truck player is Steven of course because that's what I named myself. Badges zero of course because one we've reached zeros and again playtime is zero minutes because we haven't played for a minute apparently. We haven't even played for sixty seconds yet. Let's just jump out of the moving truck and get started. 
Steven, we're here, honey. It must be t tiring riding it with our things in the back of a moon truck. Yeah, why can't I just sit up front? Everyone makes that, everyone makes that joke, though. <laughs> well, this is Little Town. How do you like it? This is our new home. It's qu it has a quaint feeling, a uh, feel, but it seems to be an easy place, though, don't you think? And you get to your own room, Steven. Let's go inside. Wait, wait, if I get my own room, where do you sleep, Mom? <laughs> See, Stephen, isn't it nice in here too? The mover, the mover's Pokemon do all the work of moving us in and cleaning up after. It's this is so convenient. Stephen, go check out your room. Go check upstairs. Thing I cooked too fast. Thing. Dad bought you in a clock to mark our move. Don't forget to set it. So if we talk to the Machokes. Yeah, this like a weird sound. Okay. So uh, if you go to your PC, I don't think there's I don't think there's gonna be a potion in here. But I can check really quick. Oh yeah, there's a potion. Nice. Cool. Glad I checked. And I got a little GameCube and stuff. It's a Nintendo GameCube. A Game Boy Advances connected to serve as the controller. That doesn't look like a game. That does not look like a Game Boy Advance. That looks like a Game Boy. That looks like a GameCube controller. The purple one. Indigo color. Jeez. I take a nap, guys. This has been the end of my whole walkthrough guide of this game. I'd like to thank you all for watching and see you guys. In no, I'm just kidding. Okay, whatever. Okay, so let's go to set the clock. We also have a CRT TV. Awesome. The clock has stopped. We better start it, is what I think what it said. So it is 12.35 in the afternoon. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna set it to that time. 12. 12.36 now, actually. So it's like right out there, I guess. Uh, let's go with that, yeah. Cool. Steven, how do you like your new room? Good, everything's put away neatly. They, they, they moved, they finished moving everything in the downstairs too. Pokemon movers are so convenient. Oh, you should sh make sure that, uh, make sure that everything is all there on your desk. Okay, what do you have on our desk here? We flip through a notebook. Cool. Adventure, <laughs> adventure rule number one. Open the start menu with start. Adventure rule number two. Record your progress with save. The remaining pages are blank. Okay, cool. Is this is a town map or something. Yeah, this is a, yeah, no, this is a map. Okay. So here we're in Little Town. We're gonna go all across Hoenn right here, you see. It's gonna be fun. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, Steven, Steven, quick, come here quickly, or something like that. And I cook too fast. Dang it. Look, it's the Pedal, it's Pedal Bug Gym. Dad might be on. We bought you the support from in front of the Pedal Bug Gym. It says interviewer. Oh, it's over. I thought, I think Dad was on, but we must have missed him too bad. Oh, yes, one of your dad's friends lives in town. Professor Birch is the name, or Prof Birch. Prof Birch, there we go. Okay, so, uh, he, he lives right next door, so you should go over and introduce yourself. Okay, cool. So let's just do that. Let's just advance right into the story by going to our next door neighbor. This is May's house, by the way, if you didn't know. Oh, hello, and you are? Oh, you're Steven, our next new next door neighbor. Hi, we have a daughter about the same age as you. Our daughter was excited about making a new friend. Our daughter's upstairs, I think. Okay, cool. So here's May. Let's talk to her. Pokemon for stored items ready and huh? Uh, who are you? Uh, yeah. Oh, you're Steven, so you moved with us today. Um, I'm May. Glad to see you. Glad to meet you. Okay, I, I, I have this room of friends with Pokemon all over the world. I, I heard about you, Steven, from my dad, Professor Prof Birch. I was hoping that we could be, that you would be nice, Steven, and that we could be friends. Oh, is this really, oh, is, oh, this is silly, isn't it? I, I've never, I've just met you, Steven. He, Oh no, I forgot. I was supposed to help my dad. Go help dad catch some more Pokemon. Steven, I'll catch you later. I made a stupid joke the first time I played this game for a project. Saying, I'll catch you later. Like, that was supposed to be a joke, but it wasn't bad. She also has a GameCube, a CRT, a clock, and a town map, a bed, and a computer, and a notebook, a journal, whatever that is on her desk. Jo notebook, whatever. Notebook, journal, same thing, almost. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, go out into the world of Pokemon without any Pokemon. Yeah, let's do that. I can hear someone sh shouting down the road here. What should I do? What should I do? Somebody has to go help. I'll do it. Help me. Always oh, running laps in a square. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Super Scar Mary made that joke. <laughs> Hello, you over there. Please help. In my bag, there's a Pokeball. Okay, fine. I'll, sh I'll freaking just help you. <laughs> okay, so. 
Whichever one you pick out of this is gonna be a starter Pokemon. So yeah, Trico, the Wood Gecko Pokemon. He stays a grass type throughout his whole evolutionary line. So as a subtile, the final his final evolution of a subtile would be um just a pure grass type. Cool. Chick Pokemon to Chick, this is a fire type. Um, if I didn't already mention that uh Trico is the grass type, of course. Uh. Uh, Torchic with its final evolution of being a blaze again is firefighting, so that's awesome. A uh, dual typing, along with Mudkip. Mudkip also has a dual typing, the Mudkip, the Mudfish Pokemon. Mudkip is the water type Pokemon. As in its final evolution of a Swampert, it'll be water ground, so a dual typing there. Now, I already used Torchic and Emerald, and I already used Mudkip in my first playthrough of Pokemon Ruby for my project on this channel. Um, so I'm gonna choose Trico. I did choose Trico for my Pokemon Sapphire and Nuzlocke Adventure, but I didn't get quite- I didn't- I didn't- I lost that Brawly. So I wanna give Trico a full playthrough of where I can just use him to his, full, his fullest extent, you know? So I'm gonna go Trico. Let's go. Cool. Put you in a level 2, nice. Let's see, we got a male with Trico, cool. Let's go for the Pound. About one third, awesome. Let's go for another pound. Okay, it's time to have health. One more pound should do it. I remember when I chose Mudkip, my second tackle I used from. I told my Mudkip to use, it missed. I was like, man, way to miss on the second tackle of the walkthrough, man. <laughs> okay, so we get some experience points 15 to be exact, awesome. Phew, I was in the tall grass studying well Pokemon when I was jumped. You saved me, thanks a lot. Oh, hi, you're Steven. This is not the place to chat, so come by my lab later, okay? And we're magic at the lab, awesome. So Steven, I've heard so much about you from your father. You've heard, I've heard that you don't have your own Pokemon yet, but the way you bowed earlier, you pulled it off like, pulled it off with a plum. Um, I guess you have your father's blood in your veins after all. Oh yes, as thanks for rescuing me, I'd like you to have the Pokemon you used earlier. We get the Trico, nice. While uh, you're at it, why not give a nickname to that Trico? Sure, why not? I'm gonna nickname this Trico Geico. So, gee... I have it on my notes on my other laptop. I'm using my other laptop to... Uh, since I have two laptops, I'm using my other laptop to like, have all like, my notes for my final team and stuff. So, in the... um, Yeah, the, the nickname is Geico. So, let me just make sure I spelled that right. G-E-I-C-O. G-E-I-C-O. Okay, cool, we did. Cool. Nice. Uh, if you work at Pokemon, if you work at Pokemon and gain experience, I think you'll make a good, darn good trainer. My kid May is out on about 103 studying Pokemon. It might not be a bad idea for you to go see May. Uh, what do you think? Sure, why not? Get great. May should be happy to too. Get May to teach you what it means to be a trainer. Okay, cool. And then here's his aid. Oh, in studying the habitats of in distribution of Pokemon, the prof enjoys maze help too. There, there's a lot of love there. That's sweet. Nice. Okay, so we'll make our way to um, Route 103. It's actually north of uh, Woodwood Town, so yeah. I'm not gonna talk to the trainers here because they don't battle you, so I'll just skip out on them. I didn't run into Singapore Pokemon there, that's awesome. I don't think I have to go back to the fight. Well, I can just show this off, actually, just because it's the first time in the game we're introduced to the Caesar Pokemon Center. All you have to do is go up to the nurse and they'll heal up your Pokemon for free. It's really nice. There's also a PC where you can withdraw and deposit Pokemon and items. That's pretty cool. And look up email or mail, I guess. Um, I can show that for right now, actually. Um, let's see. Someone's PC, which we'll get to who that name is later. I guess, yeah. We can move Pokemon, withdraw Pokemon, and deposit Pokemon. See ya is back, going back basically. Okay, Steven's PC, you can also just, it's an item storage and mailbox basically. And uh, yeah, I'll just log off without having to say log off. So let's see what our Geico has, like what nature and stuff it has. Okay, so Overgrow is its ability. Up to grass type moves in a pinch. If it's missing, if it's below one third of its max HP in battle, its uh, its grass type moves will actually uh, inc uh, increase in power by I think 2.5 percent, 2.5 times. So that's pretty cool. It's the quiet nature. Okay. Um, yeah, attack is 9, defense is 9, special attack is 13, special defense is 10, speed is 10. That's not actually that bad. I'm kind of like, that's actually good nature, because, like, I want my, uh, Trico to have good special attack, because I have special attacking moves, basically. So, yeah. 
So I'm pretty content with that actually. It's just pounding away basically, so that's awesome. So there's that. Yeah, okay, nice. Let's talk to you next. Hi, I work at the Pokemon. Can I get you to come with me? Sure, why not? We're gonna walk like 10 steps to the north, <laughs> to the north basically. This is a Pokemon Mart. Just look for our boo roof. We sell a variety of good including variety of goods including Pokeballs for catching Pokemon. Hey, here, I'd like you to have this as a promotional item. We get a free potion, awesome, so that makes sense. We get two potions now, awesome. Nice. A potion can be used anytime, so it's even use more useful than a Pokemon Center in certain situations. That's true. That is true. Let's go shopping. We have like 3,000 Poké Dollars. So, we'll go shopping. I don't want to sell anything. You can buy and sell stuff at the Marts. The Marts again have the blue roof. The Pokemon Center have the red roof. Um, so yeah. So let's see. Potions. Um, let's buy th three, I guess. Just have a, we have five basically now, but that's okay. And then let's buy three. We'll buy three because they're cheap. Let's buy two Paralysis Heals. And one Awakening. There we go, nice. Now we're done, basically. Okay, so... Uh, we have five potions, three antidotes, two pearl seals, and one awakening. Awesome, that's good. That's good. So we have uh, in your uh, bag, you have like all these different pockets. So here's your items pockets. It's like for held items, for your Pokemon, and for medicine, I guess. For uh, Pokeballs, just like your standard, like uh, Premier Ball or Pokeball, Great Ball, Ultra Ball, Master Ball eventually when we get to that. We'll get a Master Ball eventually. Uh, TMs and HMs, the technical machines and hidden machines. They are used for um, teaching your Pokemon moves that are really good because TM, like really good TMs, T really good moves are usually taught by TMs honestly. And HMs, hidden machines are for uh, moves we need to use on the field to get past like obstacles like crossing water, like surf, HM03 HM surf is for crossing water, uh, HM01 cut is for cutting down like little tree bushes that are, that can be cut down, stuff like that. Berries, um, they can, we'll be picking a lot of berries, they can heal status conditions, they can restore HP, like an orange berry can restore 10 HP, and a citrus berry, I believe, heals 30 HP, which is pretty cool. There's also, um, some berries for Pokebox, which we'll get to later, but I don't, I don't really want to show off Pokebox because I've never really had to use them in my playthroughs because, I don't really know, I don't really know like, Pokebox are only really important if you want to evolve a Feebass and a Milotic. Because uh, Feebus evolves into Myotic if you raise its beauty stat with Pokebots. Pokebots and what? Pokeblocks, there we go. And whatnot. But other than that, I don't really use Pokebots at all. Because I don't even usually use the. I don't really do the contest that much either in this game. But yeah. So I'll just probably skip out on them. Key items are for like a bicycle and uh, item finders. Like really big items that are really, that'll help you a lot. Like bikes make you go, like move faster in the game. If you ride, if you use them to ride on them and stuff, which makes sense because you ride a bicycle to go faster in real life, or you can go faster in, on a bicycle in real life if you ride it. I don't know. And then back to items. Okay, so yeah, there's that. So uh, there's one thing I want to do before I end off this part is I want to talk to this guy. I want to go. Actually, I want to go west of Oldale Town. Which, by the way, we're Oldale Town now. By the way, I forgot to mention that when it, when it first popped up. Okay, but he'll, this guy will stop by saying, "Ai or I wait, please don't come in here. I just got for the footprints of our Pokemon. Wait until I finish sketching them, okay? Sure, why not? Okay, so I'm gonna end the part off right here. So this one then my Pokemon Ruby redo walk the guy part. The next part will take on Route 103 and you know see May and stuff because that's just up north of Ulta Town. So yeah, so this has been Janko again. I would like to leave a chicken goodbye and I'll just see you guys next part my Pokemon Ruby Redo walkthrough guide.